Hello all you chipsters out there. What a day, what a day. Coming to you. 49 degrees? Is it 49? I swear I read that wrong. I just looked at it, you know, to sound all cool and tell you guys what the temperature was. It's 39 degrees. 49. Anywho, the video that I will put up tonight, which is from last week, was it never got above zero all day long. <laughs> so now it's 39. Yeah. Everything's starting to melt a little bit. And it's been drizzly all day. So getting ready. I need to do all that chain. We gotta put 44 of them bad lads in there. In that first drum. Getting fuel. Uh, I want to clean this off some more today before we go home. Trying to get catch back up. This poor girl was neglected a little bit when I was gone. So I'm getting it cleaned up a little bit. But I had to show you this. This, this was kind of funny. Today I was chipping and uh, the log truck needed just a little bit of welding. So somebody was welding on it. And I looked over at the tool truck as I'm loading the truck tool truck sitting uh, over there so I can kind of see it from where I'm sitting and I just see fire extinguisher just blow off in there so I thought that Thule was on fire now we haven't done a lot of videos on this tool truck yet I've just been that busy and uh, it's been really cold we've been fighting this chipper every day we got the chipper down where it's purring like a kitten we're finally ahead of all of our fuel problems Things starting like great. The thing's not shutting off no more. And uh, we're getting a good amount of wood off. So I looked over and this thing was just, and I see <laughs> the driver in there <laughs> trying to get out of here because it's just full, <laughs> it's just full. I'll explain to you what happened. I thought it was on fire. So what happened was this, find the light switch. This is what we got here. See, so here's our problem. Right here. We got the pole saw there. So what he was doing was welding. And obviously, your leads are right here. You guys figure out what happened yet? I know you figured it out. All you smart ladies and gentlemen figured it out already. So what had happened, when he went to put it all away, he lifted this up lifted the pole saw up to put the leads back underneath it. What had happened was there was no pin in here. Now there's a welding rod stuck in there. So when he lifted this up, it came down on the handle and there was no pin in it. <laughs> so it just blew everywhere. I mean, it was all over. And uh, yeah, that's what all this is from. So it, it was very entertaining. I, I was cracking up. Uh, he called me and told me what happened. Then that was really funny. But I thought there was a fire in here, but there was it didn't smell nothing. There was no smoke. It was all just fire extinguisher. That little pole saw here got in the way, but. So here we are. It's the next day. Yesterday. It was a little warmer. Today's just a little warmer. It's almost 50 degrees. And it's turning into a muddy mess out here. Quick, surprisingly very fast. Everything's soaking wet. So check this out. I got water. We got lots of water surrounding the chipper. Good puddle under. It's funny because I'll show you where it's coming from. It's just kind of funny. All this water. It's coming from over there. It's coming all the way down the road, down this way, all the way down this way, down the road. It's all running right through here. Shooting right through our landing right through the landing 
and it goes all the way back. Oh, you guys are all dirty. It goes all the way back, right to the middle of the landing, and then there is a pond all the way back that way. But yeah. Last week it was negative 20. Today it's 50 degrees. And rainy. And everything's a muddy mess. It's horrible. What do you do? Check this out. Yeah, all that water's still running. All the way down. That's today. Today has been a nasty, nasty day out. Foggy, rainy, yucky. A heater hose blew on the chipper when Josh was running it this morning. I'm not saying it's his fault. I don't know why, it just blew. I don't know if a stick, I think a stick got up in there. Uh, so yeah. I got antifreeze to put in that. I got, changed my knives, my one outer set's dull. I had to put an outer set in. And then, I gotta seal up around that first drum. That first fill drum's leaking quite a bit of debris bark action. So I'm gonna, I got a little conveyor for our firewood processor right here. And uh, I'm gonna cut that up. Got some soft tappers. And I'm going to put some screws in that. Cause there's nothing more, if you seal it up, it's pretty good. But if, if, if the rubber, there's a lot of rubber around it. That came off while I was gone, so when I got back, there was like a pile of bark about two foot high and garbage all around it. So I cleaned that off two nights ago. Continued cleaning off yesterday. So now I got it decently cleaned off. I want to get that sealed up because there's nothing worse than it getting covered in wood fibers. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. Change my knives, antifreeze, fuel. We'll see what happens after that. Maybe this chipper will just float right away. Who knows? Maybe just float on down right into the hole down in there. 120,000 pounds, it might not float down. But maybe them, them uh, tires will keep her afloat. Who knows? There's a good load of logs going out. A real nice load of logs going out. And there's plenty more where that came from. But we are putting a little bit of a dent in this place now. I need to get a drone video. I I got I just bought a new drone. That drone uh, she has some troubles. So I'm trying to trying to trade it off on Josh. Work out a little deal. He has a rifle, you know. Trying to sweet talk him into that deal. But yeah, that's today. She's a muddy, muddy mess. And uh, I got we got a decent amount of trucks. Some wood we can't skid because it's too muddy. So uh thanks for watching. And look at here. The 545 with a new guy in it. Eight foot. Then, yeah, if you put it beside the slasher right now, he can put them two in the firewood pile and the other one in the eight foot log pile. Yeah, that busted up ones we just thought. Any of them big chunks or nasty crap, we can't just put it that in the fire with pile. I take that back to the shop, put process it up down there. Sounds good. Sounds good. Thanks, sir. You're welcome. New guy.
legit. He's a real good guy. Seems to be like a really nice guy. Hillbilly, a redneck. You might call him Dagom. Dagom. We'll see. Anyways, you all just keep rolling. Even in the rainy, nasty days, don't stop. Not sure what else to say, so we'll just stop the video there.